Is that it up ahead? This like fort looking thing? Oh no, it's another one of these stones that I don't use. Remember, we're looking for the red stones. Those are the ones that give us the powers. These just conjure weapons that suck most of the time. And see, it kind of sucks because I would ask you guys in the comments, specifically Edmilson, like, what's the difference between the green and red stones? And why are the green stones seemingly useless? But I'm afraid that I won't see your comment. <laughs> and then it'll just feel like I ignored you. I don't like this comment situation. I want to be able to read everything you guys post. Hopefully either I can figure something out to fix that or YouTube can figure something out, but I doubt YouTube would be on top of that. It has to be a known issue at this point and they just kind of ignore it. All right, this is Frostfire Glade. There's a fucking wolf at the front door. Nothing about that in the book. Dead end. Another dead end. This whole place is just dead ends. Oh, and a mountain lion, yes. Of course. I miss my boots. Boots of Kinnereth. Kinnereth's blessing that allowed it to like, no, no animals would attack me anymore. That was a nice thing to have. See, that black bear sucked compared to that brown bear. Open up. Let me in. I've entered. The area is filled with freezing mist. The frost burns as if it were fire. Very creative. So am I taking constant... Damage then doesn't look like it Maybe like these parts hurt me. Oh, yeah down there certainly Okay, there's a giant frost 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 atronach, please come over here out of the snowy area So I'm not taking damage the whole time come on over here good boy I'm guessing you're the main protector slash guardian. I take damage every time I hit him. Wowee. Oh shit, there's more than one. There's more than one. Not good. I have to re-enchant my weapon. I do have... Hold on. Let me try this dagger of flames quick. I would assume they're weak to fire, right? In the center of discovered an astonishing sight, Garadin himself locked in an eternal frozen struggle with a huge frost atronach. And where is this? I don't see what you're talking- oh, this. Oh, that is cool. A little statue. I found one of his tears, there may be more. Okay, so all his tears are in one area. I can't tell if I'm getting shot at by a frost atronach or if it's just the effect of being frozen. That's like exploding in my ear. Is that the sound of my eardrum just collapsing in on itself? It is. Okay, so there was only one atronach, although there is one frozen in here. Where's your tears? Come on, how far could they have gone? There may be more where, like in this general area? Oh, here's one. So I just laid around, I guess. My dude cried, like, really far out. Some powerful tears. So if I read that thing, that quick dialogue box correctly, it seems like he dropped his weapon and the Atronach smashed the Ewer. So for one, the Ewer's gone. I can't get infinite water, damn it. And that's also what caused him to freeze. The smashing of the Ewer itself, along with the Frost Atronach. So that makes sense, I guess. There's not much else in this area, it's just like woodland. So I don't think his tears would be way out here. I think they would all be in the frozen area. I can't imagine they hid them. That would be a kind of a dick move.
I think if I just look harder up here, it should be here, right? Maybe at the top of this rock since there's a log leading up here. No. What the hell? I don't see any anywhere. It's possible they aren't in the frozen area, but that would be kind of counterintuitive in my opinion. I had to look it up. I just, I've been walking in circles around this area. I don't know where they all are. There's five total. It says sometimes it can fall off or they're just hard to see. Oh, here's one. Wow. Kind of amazing that it just took me looking down at my phone for a little bit, looking back up and I find one immediately. So that was what? The fourth one, I believe? And there's one more. The guy did say that a helpful tip is to use night eye to locate them. I guess that locates items as well. So actually, if I throw on my cowl, that's detect life, not night eye. So never mind then. Hopefully I have a potion. I don't. Nope, I found it. Again, I just had to look at a menu and look back up and I find it immediately. All right, we are done here. Let me get out of the frost quick. Apparently I'm taking health damage. I guess I am just taking consistent frost damage, even if I'm not in the middle where I'm just getting exploded by frost. So let me get out of this glade. I kind of like the idea of this really quick fire dagger. This could be fun to use for a little bit. Let me actually go to Fort Blue Blood first. That way I can turn in both quests at the same time. And that's just kind of, it's satisfying. <laughs> that's really the long and short of it. I like being able to go to a single town or location, just turn in quest after quest and just read the rewards. It feels like I really am just cashing out. Oh shit, a troll. Wow, that dagger destroyed him. That was so cool. It just melted his health away. I mean, I think trolls are extremely weak to fire. That's probably why. I literally just cut him to pieces. Oh, this dagger might be the move. Just imagine if I was like actually a thief build, getting that six times crit bonus or two times whatever it is in this game. That'd be insane. I remember in Skyrim just going around with like a hundred sneak and just stabbing everything in the back, one-shotting them. It was so much fun. I've arrived, we have to find his father. Her father, sorry. So yeah, that's pretty much what I expected. It must have been buried with him or he stole it. I didn't get to read that dialogue, remember? I skipped through it pretty quickly. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little lost as to uh, what's happening here. Oh, hi. Are you her father? <laughs> Ow, this guy's got an arm on him. There we go. <laughs> we got another Marauder Fort, good. Cause I just said this is my favorite kinds of forts. I like fighting bandits. That's a unique looking sword you got there. What is that? Hold up. Dwarven, oh. It looked really different for some reason. Wow, you are all two-handing, huh? I wanna test my dagger out on someone who's not swinging a giant sword at me. I wanna fight an archer or something like that. I can just really wail on. You, are you a mage? There we go. That's a good testament of this thing's strength. Just slaughtering everyone. So this way, deeper into the fort. Okay, one-handed swordsman, good. Nice, nice. 
Training dummy. Take that. Take that. Take that. Oh shit. Someone's shooting fire. Oh, we can have a dagger battle. Oh! Easy peasy. Let's see if I can wait quickly. Nope. Can't. Oh man, there's a lot of you. Oh, this might be bad. My health, it's draining. Stop. Oh, I ran out of enchantment too. Now the dagger's not as good. Where did that archer go? Oh, there you are. I was like, where? He's like still hitting me, but I don't see him. Alright, I need to switch back to my normal weapon. This dagger sucks now that it's not enchanted. I mean, it's not like the worst thing in the world, but it's not like... It's not my, my great sword. My lightning great sword. I can't wait still. And this door needs a key. So I guess we have to go up this way first. Maybe the bandit leader has the key. Guess we'll find out. Oh, that also needs a key. Dang it. Hopefully the bandits didn't have it on them, because I didn't see a key on any of them. Oh, yeah, they did. Guess I didn't look at the right one. Let's try this door first. I feel like the other one is probably the shortcut to the entrance. Dead marauders. Okay, that's not a good sign. And a spriggan. What the fuck? Oh, no. I don't like the look of this. Oh, I'm taking huge damage. Hold on, hold on. Heal. I didn't get to wait before this fight, so I'm not really prepared. Did you just heal? Oh, why would you do that? This is so bad. All my skills are being drained. All right, one's gone. There we go. Don't mind if I do. Help myself to your tap roots. That was the amulet. Got it. Was there any mention as to why his coffin is just buried in a fo Holy fuck! Stop right there, all right? Where did I you come from? You leave with that amulet. I need it right now. For what? What, you think I didn't know what you're up to? I knew you were looking for it. I knew you'd find it. And I had to stop you. Now, hand it over. Why would you follow me all the way here? You really hate that old lady, don't you? I took the other one, and that should have been enough. I shouldn't have to go through all this just to get rid of her. It's not even as if I was going to keep it forever. I was going to give it back to her once I'd gotten what I wanted. That's not so wrong, is it? No, of course not. That's perfectly she sane. Help me advance out of that place and step down, then she could have it back. Why did you have to get in the way? Because you annoy me. Trying to ruin everything. Please don't attack me. Oh, you moron. You're gonna regret that, Kalthar. This boy just summoned a skeleton, which is technically necromancy. So he should have been banished anyways. Thank goodness I got to kill that baby-faced, spray-painted-on-eyebrow freak show. Oh, that's why I needed the key. He locked the door behind me. What a bold move, considering how strong I am. <laughs> you thought I was locked in there with him, but he was locked in there with me. Now we can turn in both quests. Isn't that so satisfying? To me, it is. I just feel like I'm getting more rewards. It also feels more time efficient as well. Even though I think realistically, it wouldn't have been that long to just come here, talk, go to Fort Blue Blood, come back, talk to him again. I mean, Maybe there's a small difference, but probably not that noticeable. Maik? How are you? You are not Maik. Don't ever talk to me. What is it? Okay, you. Let me you talk to you first. 
You found five of the tears? Fantastic. No, not five of the tears. All of the tears. Perhaps a little bit of a bonus is in order. Yeah, I think you're right. 1,200 gold, hey. Not bad, but that whole quest was for 1,200 gold. Like, I feel like I should have gotten something else. The tears look beautiful in my collection. A thousand thanks once again. In your collection? Are they actually here? Ooh, look at this display case. There's some good looking crystals in there. Is that your collection that you're so proud of? Okay, now let's try to find our main lady. Grandma Magic, as we all call her. As we lovingly call her. Oh, she's gone. Uh. Grandma? Well met. Oh, you're up and eating. Nothing has changed, child. The voices. It's about to change. Here's your stupid amulet. Found it, have you? Silenced the hands that betrayed and took what was mine? Then let me have the stone so that the voices can be shut out. Ah, oh, child, I thank you for helping me. No problem. You the rightfully deserved it. For now, the words Calthar did not. Me. You shall have my recommendation. Though I must warn you, I've seen things in your future. Things which may be, and things which will be. It will be up to you to decide the fate of many. I already did that. Death are strange that's things. not the future, that's the Easily past. manipulated, and both will be altered by your hands. That was also very broad, like anyone could have said that. Let me just make sure you wrote the recommendation. Your time has come. The Arcane University needs you, child. Raminus Polis waits for you even now. Great things will be fall. Okay, enough, Grandma. Lay off the meds. Are you gonna thank me? Well met. No, you're not. Good day. Well, nice knowing you too, Agata. I'll remember that when I'm guild leader. All right, Raminus awaits us, but first, I want to keep doing Fighter's Guild. It's kind of just like a sudden relief, like, yes, we're done with the recommendations. So let me come to another, like, little relief moment within the Fighter's Guild quest as well. I don't even know if there is one. I actually might almost be done with the Fighter's Guild quest, as far as I know. I have no idea where it's leading me. Do I have 10 Nurn Root yet? I guess I never checked. I haven't picking it up quite consistently. I have 8 Nurn Root. I need 2 more and that quest can finally be turned in. I could get that Exploration Potion. Which I forgot what it does. I think it gives you more loot, right? So that would be fun to have. And my quest for the Fighter's Guild is straight up gone. But I'm guessing I just have to talk to... Madrin. In Coral. I think he's waiting for me. There might be a time limit. Or a time like... You know, I have to wait for him to tell me to come back. But let's just find out. Let's go speak to him. I can't find Coral as usual. Even though I've been there 1,500 times. There we go. By the way, Edmilson, I did remember that you told me where the Chill Run quest is finally. And also about that unique mace. I will do that eventually. I actually wanted to start the episode off with that, but I forgot, so... Soon. Maybe after the guilds, that'll be like the first side quests I do. I'm never too busy for good talk. Right, Madrid. You're starting to continue. come around, finally, and I, I like that. Be seeing you. He doesn't have a quest for me. Which is weird. Do you have anything? It's my pleasure. No. Go to it. Did I did I win? Is that was that the Fighters Guild? Take care. Hold up, let me look into this super quick. This says I'm supposed to go back to the other guild leaders in Shaden Hall and Skingrad. Or was it Skingrad? I actually don't remember now. <laughs> well, you know, like Shaden Hall, the ogre guy. Oh no, Anvil, that's the other one. And accept those quests. I don't think Modrin said that. But, okay, it's according to this, that's what I have to do. 